हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट 23 ऑफ एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस हाउ टू कंज्यूम वेब ए इन विंडोज फॉर्म्स यूजिंग डाटा ग्रिड व्यू डाटा ग्रिड ग्रिड व्यू इज द कंट्रोल ऑफ विंडोज फॉर्म एप्लीकेशन सो बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस पार्ट ट्वेंटी प्लीज विजिट माई पार्ट ट्वेंटी पार्ट ट्वेंटी ऑफ माई एस पी डॉट वेब ए सो देयर आई हैव सोन यू हाउ टू कंज्यूम एस पी डॉट एंड वेब ए पी आई इन एस पी डॉट एंड ग्रिड व्यू यूजिंग एस टी टी पी क्लाइंट एंड दिस पार्ट ट्वेंटी थ्री इज रिलेवेंट टू दिस टू वीडियोज कॉल्ड से पार्ट सेवन इज एस पी डॉट एंड वेब ए पी आई यूजिंग एसकुल सर्वर एंड एन टी टी फ्रेमवर्क एंड पार्ट पार्ट एट इज हाउ टू रिट्रैप डेटा इन एस पी डॉट एंड वेब ए पी आई यूजिंग एसकुल सर्वर एंड एन टी टी फ्रेमवर्क सो आई विल गो to my presentation what point we need to discuss in this video first one is how to add http client to windows forms and uh, uh, point number 2 is how to consume web api and display records in data grid views so guys here i have opened two instance of uh, uh, visual studio this instance is for web api i already have discussed in this in my all the videos it is common to all the videos right and the second instance is for windows forms applications so here i have created windows forms application and that is called consume api win form so it is very simple just uh, click on file new project all right and it will show you one uh, windows so here you can see you just select here under visual c sharp windows desktop and you can see windows forms app dot uh, net framework right after then you will give your uh, name of that file uh, solution and the path you need to choose and framework and click okay once you do that one you should you can see your solution explorer your project name and the uh, project uh, uh, related files right here the properties reference uh, app dot config form one dot cs and program dot cs so this is the interface you can see that for form 1 of windows form application right and uh, i'll uh, i'll men i have mentioned few steps so step number 1 is how to add windows form app project so i already have discussed how to add windows form application and the step number 2 is add http client from new get package manager so for that what i'll do just right click on your project and select the manage new get packages and guys i already have uh, uh, mentioned about this uh, uh, steps to install a uh, installation of http client in my previous videos so same steps you need to follow up here so i already have installed the http client for that the package name is microsoft.sp.net spnet.web.webapi.client so here i have installed that is the uh, as of now the version installed is installed version name is 5.2.9 if you not install you just go to browse and browse here the name and install it right and once the installation is successful just uh, expand your reference folder you can see that one blue icon is found that microsoft.aspnet.webapi.client and you can see one dll file called system.net.http right that means your uh, http client required packages already installed here okay now go through the step number 3 that is i need to add a class file for mapping property with web api response so guys here i have created one folder called employee and inside i have added one class name called employee.cs right and in employee.cs i have uh, mentioned all the property names that id first name last name gender and salary with its uh, return type all right data type so uh, according to web api response i have created all the properties same as the web api response and the same st same employee class i have uh, created in my previous videos for sp.net grid view and uh, same same class name i have created also here right so this is all about create the class for our web, for our windows form application to map to our web api uh, response step number 4 is add data grid view from the toolbox to form 1.cs design so guys in windows forms application there is two important files called form 1.cs design and form 1.cs so form 1.cs design is for the front end and form 1.cs is for the code behind file so here we need to drag and drop 
two controls one is data grid view so for that you just what i'll do is go to your uh, views okay in the go to windows format tools here you can get the toolbox right in the views yeah click on views and you can the, you can see toolbox or you can go to the shortcut called control alt dot x plus x it, after then you can see one uh, toolbox is appear on your right on your left hand side below to the server explorer to da to add the data grid view you can see one data is there so expand it uh, you can see data grid view right here you just drag and drop to the uh, form one dot cs design from the toolbox and no need to design anything right and step number five is we need to add label control from the toolbox uh, to form one dot cs design so data grid is data grid view is for showing the records from web api and i have added the uh, label control so for that you just expand the common control you can see one label control just drag and drop here right and he here i have modified few things for uh web API for the label so properties right and uh, here what i what i have done is uh, i have changed the font uh, properties is called the font name and uh, select the uh, bold as true right and uh, the name i have mentioned here as microsoft sans serif and after then i change the four color to red and uh, and here i have changed the uh, design name of label is label error it is the id of the level control level to control and in the fronted file it will show the text as level 2 so that it is showing as level 2 but when we uh, configure something in our code behind file then use the id of that level control that is level error so that's all about for the level control right and this level control is used for uh, that is showing the exception if anything is found in our code so uh, step number six is we need to add some code in form 1.cs for consume web api and exception handling so here uh, i will show you that is one form 1.cs right so here what i what i've done is i need to add that uh, namespace for access the http client class and one is for access the employee class we need to add, add the namespace so here the employee.cs we can find here the namespace so we just mentioned this namespace inside the form 1.cs to uh, access the employee class and its uh, properties right employee dead class and its properties all right so after then public form one it is a load event so it has one uh, one uh, method is there initialize component it is by default when we create the uh, windows form application and one is refresh data so it is uh, i have done it so here i have created one method called uh, refresh data and here i have used try block right it is for exception handling using try catch so inside try block uh, here in enumerable type of object getting from class name employee date employee date and emp ops is the object of i enumerable so i have mentioned here this code and it i said the object is to set null initially and after then i consume web api using client class so http client sc equal to new http client and in uri i added sp.net web api url as a string parameter so the code is sc dot base, base address uh, and a new URI, it is the URL of my web API, right? And uh, next one is I need to consume data. So get async method takes parameter a string, the request URI, and the request in URI is the API control name. So I have declared one variable called consume API and the object of HTTP client dot. It is the method uh, method of HTTP client get async, and I mentioned the employee. So employee nothing but the web API controller and here i set the wet method and uh, next is i need to read the data so var read data equal to consume web api dot result after then i need to check the read condition whether data read read or not so if read data dot is success status code 
then added the i list class and uh, this is the type of elements in list they are getting data from employee date class is a method so here i declare one display data variable and here i read data dot content using red async uh, i have mentioned the i list collection of class and inside i have mentioned the employee date class right so this is the type of element in list they are getting data from i employee date class it is a method right and here i have mentioned the display data dot wet before displaying the record in grid view or data grid view we need to collect the data into the i enumerable object that is emp or obj right so here i have declared here right i enumerable object object that is a emp obj so here uh, emp obj dot display data dot result and uh, finally i will add this uh, data to our data grid view control so this is the data grid view control uh, id right so data grid view one right here i mentioned in the comment box so data grid view one is getting the data source from i enumerable object that is the emp obj and then re then bind the data so this is the id of my data grid view control you can see here right if you just right click on this uh, control and go to properties you can see the id of the data grid view control you can see here right data grid view one so uh, using that id of data grid view one dot data source equal to emp obj and uh, when the data is successfully fetched from web api to data grid view so i will mention here as label control to visible false and inside catch i have mentioned the label error dot text equal to uh, please check whether api is running or not so if any exception is found like web api is not running and uh, in that time the exception is found so that label control is, is just showing the warning or error message to the end user that is the please check whether web api is running or not so uh, this is all about the steps guys only six steps after then I, our code is ready to run so what i'll do here is we just uh, right click on the solution and build solution so our build is succeeded so I need to run my application. So here you can see one start button is there. So we need to click on it. So guys, our our form is loaded, and you can see this is the interface we have we are getting in the in the windows forms application so this is the grid view it shows empty as well as it is showing one error message that please check whether a web api is running or not so that means if you go to my code you can see the exception is found right that means our, our web api is not running so that we are getting these exceptions right so we need to close it and we'll make sure the web api application is running or not so go to the web api project so this is the web api project so our web api project is not running so that we are getting these exceptions so we need to run our web api first so just click on it ias express so guys here you can see my web api runs successfully i am getting the result of employee details so after then we need to run our web web form application so go to my web form application and click on start So guys, now you can see all the details of employee is faced properly by using web API, right? There is no exceptions. So I can see all the employee details with ID, first name, last name, gender, and salary. So we need to compare the result with our web API response. 
so we need to check id 1 so go to my web api response for id 1 first name is ram 1 last name is pradhan 1 gender is male salary is 34000 so we need to check same response in our windows form application so for id 1 first name is ram 1 last name is pradhan 1 gender is male salary is 34000 and we need to check here id 16 so for id 16 first name is bill last name is strong gender is male and salary is 23000 so go to my windows application so for id 16 uh, first name is bill uh, last name is strong gender is male and salary is 23000 so guys that's all about the steps how to consume web api in our windows form application so i'll go to my uh, presentation here so this is my youtube channel subscribe and share it to get the updated knowledge on dotnet dotnet core c sharp sql server github angular and devops so that's it for today guys thank you for listening have a great day